Berwick then make their way onto the, the field of play, followed by Greenock Wanderers. Graham Hogg then the fly half for Greenock. No score at the moment, but this will give Wanderers an early advantage. A hush around BT Murrayfield is certainly clipped that nicely. It's off the post and over as Wanderers are pressing deep inside the Berwick 22. Hogg out towards through the midfield. A 2 and one situation opening up here and Wanderers are going to be in for the try. The opening score for Greenock Wanderers coming 14 minutes into the first half. And there is Ryan Wilson again. Comes now towards Rogerson. Skeen perhaps a little decoy here out towards the left-hand side. Dalrymple was in a bit of space. Dalrymple now is able to gather. But uh, Wanderers have been able to close in. Dalrymple has scored a wonderful try though. Good secured possession of the ball in his right hand. And it's Jack Dalrymple with the try. Skeen, no problem for Skeen. Hogg then, here he goes, left-footed. He's got enough height in the ball, plenty of distance. There he goes, another three points for Wanderers. And just about the 22, Skeen, left-footed. Makes no mistake, and we've got a level game again. Berwick 11, Greenwich Wanderers 11. Good work from the back row forwards, and once more, Greenwich Wanderers trying to penetrate, trying to break this spirited Berwick defence just before half-time. We've played the, the full first 40 minutes. The clock has shown that this is the last action of the first half. Wanderers just peppering the line, the referee signalled the score, and Wanderers here persistent pays off. Matt Gray is able to gobble that one up, and Wanderers again through McDougall, feeding the ball just to the right-hand side. Ball carrier taking it over that 10-metre line, McDougall goes in once again, finds Graham Hogg, landed a couple of important penalties, on towards Callum Harrison on the angle, good running from Harrison and McGrorty in the centre. The two centres linking very well and Wanderers could well be in for a try inside the opening minute of the second half and Wanderers score and it's a fullback Chris McCarr and he punches the air. The conversion attempt, so Berwick 11, Greenock Wanderers 21 and Hogg floats that one over. The power of this Wanderers side only coming to the fore here. Spread down the, the left-hand channel now, a 2 and one situation perhaps opening up. Andrew Guthrie was in open space there, Guthrie goes in now just to protect possession of the ball as it uh, comes back once more and once again Martin Lavelle looking dangerous already got a try in the board for Wanderers, Wanderers now are going to be over for another score try number four for Greenwich Wanderers and it's the centre Brendan McGrorty try number four Hogs kick is just over he's made it, the Wanderers have done well Managed to secure possession. Pass out towards Hogg. Now again the Wanderers midfield. Looking dangerous. McGrorty, a wonderful Maisie run. And offload. Oh, this could be the try of the afternoon. So far the tap tackle is brilliant. But Wanderers are able to get to their feet again. And touch down of the referee awarded the score. He has now. Marvellous bit of play there. Great determination. And the Wanderers are in for another score. Once more, Hardy on towards Skeen to this left hand side. Hindhaw now on towards Gareth Hill. Gareth Hill, what a story if Hill could score! And Gareth Hill surely has scored the try! Has he managed to ground the ball cleanly? He's taken the congratulations from his teammates and he gets the score. Hands clasped. Skeen has made it. And Berwick have another two points. And it's recycled through Skeen. Floats a long pass out there, now Grieve out towards Gareth. And it's Gareth Hill going to be in again. Gareth Hill scored another try! We've got three minutes of the final left to play. The Shield final. Berwick have been Shield winners in the past in 2004. He was in the bowl final in 1998, but they've spread it wide. And Berwick are going to finish with a bit of a fight here. They're going to be in. It's Hindhaw going to finish it and go up. Wanderers certainly... Oh. Open defensively there, and there was nothing doing on this occasion for Berwick, it would seem. Hindhaw did marvellously well from a Berwick point of view, and the picture is having a word with the, the match referee at the moment. So, But uh, in fact, that the, the score is good. They need this with this, the last action of the game, and it's taken on there by Paul Pringle. Almost a forward roll here, the Berwick supporters are on the their feet just now, Andrew Skeen, 
Skins going for the line. Has he managed to get to the bars in just a fraction shot there? Berwick so near. Berwick trying to go again. The referee Gordon Reid has a long hard look. A huddle of players right underneath those posts. This is what Silver Saturday drama is all about. They're going to be in Berwick for a score. They touch down. Jubilation for Berwick. The referee has signalled and he, he now signals the score. Berwick has scored the try to bring them within two points. Three quarters with this kick to come, 33 points to 35, and it's Scott Owens who scores the try. All eyes inside BT Murrayfield on Andrew Skeen. Here he goes then. Greenwich Wanderers rush out. Berwick rise and Berwick celebrates. Skeen kick, and Berwick have found something. They've found something extraordinary to level the game at 35 points all, and this game is going in decks to time. So rather than adopting the golden try format it will be a further 10 minutes each way for these sides this would give them a lead and something to build on an extra time period here he goes then left footed under skiing the bright yellow boots strikes it well and it's good the touch judges had a long hard look at that one again drama continues at BT Murrayfield and Silver Saturday's Shield final between Berwick and Greenock it's been stolen by Grieve Grieve now the tip kick ahead and Berwick is it going to land to Grieve again and he's over for the score Ali Grieve Berwick's number 8 we've played now a minute of the second period of extra time but Wanderers have come flying out the blocks here what they've needed to do Hogg oh an interception and Berwick now could well be away down the heart of the field could this well be the try that secures the final? The Shield could well be heading to Stemerston. He touches down. He can't quite believe it. It's the Berwick number 11, Jack Dorrimble. But he managed to pull ahead and made to go over for Berwick's possibly winning try. Skeen adds the extras. And we've played the conclusion of the second period of extra time, it's been snatched and Adam Hardy on towards Andrew Skeen, Andrew Skeen touches down and well perhaps from a Berwick point of view that's a perfect finish Andrew Skeen and well that's surely the icing on the, the cake or the, the cockles as they call them in Berwick with Skeen scoring that latest try. You know 17 points down in, in real time and you just thought Berwick were out of it but they've managed to fight their way back from almost death and comes straight back into it. And it's that man, Andrew Skeen, who tops it off with his last conversion to win the game for Berwick.